Um, that's new. What the logic was that? Okay. I want to go have a look in the weed store. If I just want to make sure I have my loadout. Can I just buy cannabis in here? Probably not while I'm on duty. Oh, ooh, ooh. Oh my god. <laughs> I can totally buy cannabis. Very small marker though. Come on, get in the marker. Hey, there we go. Oh my god, that's wicked. Right, I mustn't buy any. I'm on duty. <laughs> that's so fucking jank. Cool modeling though, I gotta be fair, that is awesome. Anyway guys, what's up? And uh, welcome back to Clerp. And uh, we're officially out of beta, which means applications are open. So I will leave a link in the description if you want to join. And uh, I don't believe LEO is open at the moment. But civilian positions certainly are, and they're going to be reopening LEO soon. So uh, if you want to join, come play with me. That would be pretty awesome. Uh, click that link, fill out the form, and... Oh god, I can't actually remember the application process. I believe someone will contact you on Discord. I think. But either way, yeah, if you want to come play with me, that's uh, that's probably the easiest way to do it. And uh, let's... You, oh, I need to turn them off, the notification. Right, we're up in the county now. Uh, I got my radar on. I got the fast speed set to 80. Purely because I knew I'd be getting on a highway and traffic can get pretty berserk on the highway. Um, but yeah, as I said down there, the applications are now open uh, for Civ. Elio will be opening soon. Uh, we're all in here. Uh, me, Matt, uh, Andrew, if you remember him, Shark. Pretty much the works, we're all in here. So if you... That was a bit jank. So if you want to join, come play with us. That's pretty awesome. We've got a lot of gang stuff going on. You can do jobs, you can earn money. Uh, In-game, obviously. You can do pretty much anything you want. It's a life server, so it's economy based. And uh, it's really easy to pick up. And the requirements to join are really minimum. You need a copy of GTA 5 that's legitimate, which most people have anyway. You need 5M and a microphone. That's pretty much it. Everything else will be provided for you. So, yeah, I highly recommend coming and joining. Uh, as I said, there is a link in the description. And. The chances are pretty high that you'll run into me on server one day, so that'd be pretty cool. Um, so yeah, I, I do highly recommend joining. Right, I was going to get off back there, but that AI kind of <laughs> screwed that up for me. I'm also not paying attention where I'm going, so I'm kind of weaving in and out the lanes a little bit. I don't know, I reckon tonight's going to be a busy night on you. Right, I'm going to get off here. I do miss those traffic lights in OCRP that were by there. i got to be fair. Uh, a lot of people have been asking in the comments why I haven't really been playing that recently. Um, I've just wanted something different. Occasionally you get a little bit meh with certain things. and It's nothing against OCRP. I still like it. I'm still a member. and I am planning on going back on there. But yeah, I just felt like a change and Clerp opened up, so I thought, you know what, why not? A lot of my friends are in here, so I thought I'd play this for a bit, and uh, currently, OCRP's having a lot of issues as well. Uh, technical issues, not with people or anything. Uh, I tried to join this server earlier, and it's still down for me. Their team speak is also down. Uh, their web host is just having a hell of a lot of issues at the moment, and... Uh, I'm like 4,000 miles from the server, so yeah, it's even worse for me. But yeah, I am still a member of OCRP, I still do play it, I just haven't been on there for a while. I am thinking again that setup once they get all their technical shit sorted out though. It's been a quiet shift so far. How so? Literally haven't seen a server. Well, I saw one go into the city, but he was driving normally. It's Saturday. Saturday is... It's going to start picking up probably in about 15-20 minutes. Yeah, I'm debating switching to Unmarked and getting in there early. There's already a BCSO Unmarked. Who is it? You? Yep. 
Motherfucker. Because there was a marked units, so I was able to go unmarked. No. Oh, well. And if not, I would have had to pull out, like, I don't know what car, but not Ernest's van. Give me a little bit and you can have it, kind of thing. Yeah, it's alright. I'll stick with the Charger. I do like the Charger. Can't do fair. That Z type was doing some jank shit. That it's not registered. Yep, go for it. And passing on a double yellow. We are closing. Light it up. Can you two five two? Uh, show me on a ten fifty. Going to be on Alhambra Drive ten twenty five. Show me with one three three on a black truffade adder. That's not an adder. <laughs> Correction, Z-type. Huh? What did you call it? An adder. Oh. Good evening, sir. I'm uh, Deputy Putin with the Blaine County Sheriff's Office. Do you know why I pulled you over today? Oh, my apologies, ma'am. Uh, no, I don't. Okay, so the reason's twofold. Firstly, you passed on a double yellow back there. Uh, you in a rush? You need to go anywhere fast? Uh, well, when I pulled out, it was the dotted line. It's just I didn't want to go too fast, so I stayed at a speed limit, and by the time I got around the big-ass truck there, it was double yellow again. Um, but no, no real big hurry. I just have a meeting that I have to uh, get back to. Okay. And secondly, uh, as you passed me, my ALPR, my number plate reading system, uh, told me that your vehicle wasn't registered. Is that correct, do you know? Uh, it should be, but um, let me pull up the app quickly and double check for you because it might be my mistake. Go all of them DMV apps, right? <laughs> okay, now. Yeah, all it's right. quite convenient. The uh, DMV app. Uh, that car just jumped the train tracks. Oh, that was complete desync. <laughs> Fucking hell. Um, who is the Civ? Okay, so it's I Calvin. just checked and it's showing up. Um, well, I just oh, looked again and it is not No, rich. it is my mistake. There's a there's a typo. Right, okay, no problem. If you have that paperwork, I'll just double check because it should be in there with a the typo. I can let that slide. Uh, also, mm -hmm. if you have your license and insurance documents. Oh, yeah, of course. One sec. Metro 124, I'll be back tonight. There you go. And, yeah, it looks like I just screwed up with the uh, plate. If you look up uh, ZTE 231, that's what it'll come back to. I don't know how that happened, but... Yeah, that's no problem. If you just bear with me, I'm going to go check all this in my uh, system, and I'll be right back with you. It's Lilith. Lilith, feckin' morning star. Alright, look up. Uh, Lilith. Have I spelled that wrong? L-I-L-L-I-T-H. No, I put E-T-H. Warning, mental disability. Mental disability, 16 records. Jesus Christ. Oh, fuck me. What? Did you see the amount of shit in here? The amount of cars he's got. She's got registered. Right, what was the play? NFE 955. Can you come back in game and tap back out? Oh. Your sirens were on. Yep. They're on again. Oh, for fuck's sake. So just to turn them off, you have to tap back in. So tab out, tab in kind of thing. Because just the tab is what turns it off because you're hitting halt. They off? Yes. Alright. Uh, NJE995. That's fine. Valid. Coupe. Is it insured? Can't tell. Ooh. 
Warning, mental disability. Citation, license, medical conditions, weapon licenses. Yeah, there's nothing too bad about it. I'll let her go. Yes, boss? Okay, Miss Morningstar, here's your uh, all your paperwork back. Um, yeah, ring the DMV as soon as reasonably possible to get that typo sorted out for me. And uh, the overtake, as you said, there's a bit of uh, disparity in the lines, so I'll let that slide as well. Uh, just be more careful in the future, is that okay? I will do, thank you very much. Yeah, no problem. Once I get back to my vehicle, uh, you're free to go as soon as I turn my lights off. And as I said, just get that sorted with the DMV for me. I will, yes, immediately. Alright, have a nice day, Miss Morningstar. Kenny 252, show me and 133 back 108. Metro 124, 1050, 585 Power Street. Gonna be on that same Mustang, occupy times one, no additional. 585. Sanders 269, I'm going to say a 1070 at 934, dirt road parallel north of Route 68 for a semi truck with a tanker trailer. He's the only unit in the city. <laughs> Wanna head towards the city? Metro 124, can I get an active supervisor down to 585 Power Street? I think that answered it for us. One thirty three, show me a Front away. I'm not technically attached to that, so I'll just make my own way down there slowly. No, this is great. I came here because the cop pulled him over for revving his engine. So he, he's like, perfect, I want a supervisor. So I came and he's like, so uh, he pulled me over for uh, revving my engine. I'm like, okay. So over excessive use of throttle. He's like, well, no, I was just revving it. I'm like, oh, okay, so noise ornament because your engine noise at a rev peak is higher than the allowed decibel for a noise barrier, right? He's like, oh. And I'm like, yeah, so just so technically just revving your engine is illegal. He's like, oh, all right. And I'm like, so just, just listen what the copper has to say. And who knows? Maybe you're out of here with a warning. <laughs> <laughs> that is a bit shady, mind. Yeah, uh, it is. But the cop is not wrong. You know, I cannot. It's not my place to state if he did right or wrong by doing it. It is my place to state that he is not breaking the law by doing it. That is a loud car, to be fair. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's like, I bet you can't catch me in that Prius. And I'm like, first of all, it's not a Prius. And uh, you'd be surprised what I can do. Well, if he's thinking of running, I might just stick down the street a little bit. Metro 124, I can show myself and Mr. Ernest. We're going to be back tonight. Mr. Ernest. <laughs> and down here on the left. Attention all units, this batch will be 86 eight. Good evening. Good evening to you too, ma'am. Good evening. Welcome aboard, ma'am. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Welcome aboard. <laughs> what? It sounded like you was trying to pick her up or something. Ernest? Well, well, hello. What are you doing? I'm doing a good time. Sandra's Air One. Oh. Air One. Sandra's Air One, prepare to copy message. Go ahead with 43. Sandra's dispatch, Air One on station 10 8. Air One operating as an AS350 airship registration November 1080 Oscar in Sandras with pilot 159 and first officer 269 on board. Flare cable time on station approximately one hour. No further remarks. 10 8. Well, that was a hell of a message. See, now you're just cramping my style. Why? 
fucking minivan. I don't want to be within like a mile of that thing. For all you know, I'm a sexy soccer mom. Yeah, that's it. Ernest the sexy soccer mom. Also, it's not soccer, it's football. No, it's soccer. Nah, it's football. Soccer. Why do North Americans always seem to think they're right? Well, it's because football is a brown ball with white lace that gets thrown in the air. No, that's American football. No. So, see, you guys call it American football. Everybody else in the world calls it football and soccer. No. Literally. Six billion people would disagree with you there. No. It's only North America that calls it soccer. Even in other languages, it's football. You're another fucking language. Front, closing. Hey, I got something. What? Not registered, clock going 64 and a 45. Which one? That orange Lamborghini. I'll wait for him to come back out of the uh, shop. Metro 421. That car behind you. Was definitely back to Didn't clock him. Ten four. Okay, I need two five two ten fifty. Two five two on your fifty. It's going to be southbound panorama ten twenty on a an orange Lamborghini twenty eight when ready. Twenty-eight. It's going to be Tango Sierra Alpha 979, TSA 979. Good evening, sir. I'm uh, Deputy Putin uh -huh. with the Blaine County Thank Sheriff's you. Office. Do you know why I've pulled you over today? Engine 75. Show me uh, back um, available. Let me think. What did so I do back today? I, um, no, I don't, I don't think I did anything wrong today. Okay, so do you know what the speed limit is on this road? Hmm, I'll say... 50? No, it's 45, and I clocked you doing 64. That's 19 over. Uh, also, mm. on my uh, number plate reading system, my ALPR, your car shown as not registered. Is there a reason for that? It should be registered. I registered it 100%. Right, okay, I'll double check that. Uh, do you have your documents on you? License, insurance, registration? Yeah, my uh, car registration, like for the paper saying I bought it and all that, and I registered it, is up in front of my car. I have it in that front. Yeah, that's fine. You can step out if you want to go get that for me. Alright. It's a beautiful car you got, I gotta be honest. Yeah. I, I two, saved five, two, up a ahead. bunch of money for this shit. Apologies for extended delay on your 28. Uh, Tango Sierra Alpha Niner 7 Niner is no return. 10 4, no problem. Do you mind me asking, uh, how much was this car? Ooh. I, I got it off of the dealership over my buddy. He uh, gave me a discount on it. He he. I paid to him. I paid 125k for it. Yeah. Uh, I don't know how much he paid for it, but he also said he upgraded it for me too. So I gave him 125k, and I was like, shit. Yeah, that's a good deal. This. Can't argue with that. Yeah, shit. It's not a bad deal for this kind of car, and he also upgraded it for me. Nice. All right. All right. All right. Here's the registration of the vehicle. Uh, the on the bottom of the paper, I stapled it, and it should show that I bought the car from like I don't know, like three days ago. I bought it from them. Okay, no problem. I'll run this through my system now, and uh, I'll get back to you. Okay. All right. 
He was 19 over. I think that might be worth a citation, to be honest. Get him! Give him the book! <laughs> Cite him! Alright, TSA. You. You don't do your job. Alright, name search. Shit, I forgot to check the name on it. <laughs> uh, Brian... Farrell? Make sure it matches the ID. Yeah. Oh shit, did that wrong. Warning, armed danger to Leo, violent. Um. Right, okay. If it is Brian Farrell, he's got a warrant. Hang on, let me just check the name. Hey, deputy. Yeah, I'm just looking him up in my uh, MDT at the moment. Alright. Brian Lock Farrell. Lock your door when you get out. Hmm? Lock your door when you get out. Yeah. Alright, he's got a warrant for... Call for, call for uh, another one. Another unit. Because Ernest is old, I can't run. Can he 252? 252? Be advised, the subject on this 1050 has a warrant. Can I have an additional 32? Uh, 10433? Uh, <laughs> it's for aggravated murder. Yes, ma'am. Can I have you, uh, read a traffic stop, please? 10-4, can you send us another one? 10-4. Sanders Air One Shores overhead at 1050 at Sandy's flywheels. Should we... Air One overhead. Do you reckon Code 5 and we'll just pretend everything's cool and ask him for his hand? Pretend everything is cool. Yeah, that's what I was going to go for. Hello, helicopter. Hello. Okay, Hi. Mr. Farrell. Uh, just a quick question. Yeah. Do you have anything on you that's going to poke me, stick me, hurt me? Dispatch Man, I got handcuffs for my lady. We usually have a frisky night, you know what I mean? Uh, I have no absolutely no idea what you mean. Uh, can you just face the car for me a sec? Yeah, I can. I know, I understand that I'm a criminal and all that. Okay, I'm just going to pop you in cuffs. There's an interaction. Alrighty, tidy. Chief, make sure you take the key away from him. I look up if to he has cuffs. Matter 124, 31. Okay, uh, these handcuffs, where's the key for that? At home. Be northbound, off the street, black. No, okay. Yeah, I, I live in the right city and I work over here on standby. my job. Occupation Avenue. Okay. What's uh, your job? I work over at the mechanic shop. You know, the one that's part of the gas station and the mechanic shop. You know what I'm talking about? At the end of, uh... It's over by your guys' share station. It's that one gas station. Okay, uh, I'm just gonna pat you down. Uh, do you have anything on you? Ah, uh, well, I have my 20 grand. Uh, I have the handcuffs, and that's it. I have a question. Why do you have a police radio on your belt? Oh, it's for work. For for work? What do you guys use that for, for work? Uh, well, at our mechanic shop, this helps us, like, contact our boss and all that. So, basically, um, on our radio, I know we have different channels, so we're not interrupting you guys. So, on our channel, when we radio in to our boss... To because our clock in is our radio in to our boss. Because our clock in got broken, like broke somehow, and all that. And he said, "Why not just get us some radios?" And we're just gonna use that as our clock in. So we tell him what time we clock in. So, so wait. So out. instead of purchasing a a punch machine that's probably like two hundred dollars, <laughs> he bought a system of radio that is probably seven thousand dollars. Is what you're telling me? Yeah, I'm telling you. My. I don't know why I'm still working with him, but and then so my you boss see where we're coming from, though, right? So yeah, because police radio and all that. Police radio, the handcuffs. 
And then you also have a warrant. Uh, I should, and I already served it. Well, I'm okay. Go. Just before we go any further, um, you are currently under arrest for that warrant, or several warrants actually. Uh, you have I the should, right to I remain can't. silent. You do not have to say anything. You also have the right to an attorney. Do you understand the rights I read them to you? I think I missed yeah, something out there, I don't. didn't I? The thing is, I don't. Yeah, I got. I literally went to jail like a week ago because of the warrants. Okay, do you remember what those warrants were? Uh, well, it's the warrant I had. I know I, he made me pay uh, the warrant because he said I, cause I also got arrested for drag racing with some friends. So a total of my fine. The warrant, he said, was 250k Nick, for look it. at the warrant. It is closed. I, he, oh, then also oh, I drag shit. raced and all that ran with. I didn't see that. Oh, he let me bail yeah. out. And so it's I gonna always show the, all the warrants they've had. Uh, police station. You gotta scroll the to the end. See yeah, if open I did. Or I oversight. Yeah. Okay, let me just go double check if this the warrant's still active. I think it is, but I'll double check for you. Okay. Yeah, you. I don't know if you guys were on duty, but it's the warrant. I got arrested when uh we had like a. You guys have you guys did you guys get radioed over a bunch of cars were racing on the highway and all that? I don't think I was in on duty then. Uh, just give me a sec yeah. to go double check these for you, okay? Alright. Gentlemen. How's it going? You're a trooper. Yeah, fuck. I, I, honestly, I didn't even know that was a thing. <laughs> well, that was a scare. Right, before I uncuff him, does he have anything else on him? I don't know, did you search him? No, like, on his record or anything. Right, okay. Let me just try searching his plate again. What was it? Uh, TSA 979. I'm going to do what every cop does in this situation and blame the system. <laughs> Wait. Alrighty. Man, what kind of job do you do to get that kind of vehicle? Okay, Miss Farrell, hold still one sec. Working. Don't right. uncuff him just yet. I'm, yeah. I'm looking into the law of well, handcuffs my with boss, the... he's... We don't... Well... I'm going for that. Yeah, I was about to say. Alright. Alright, he doesn't want to hear me explain it. Alright. Have fun. Don't crash! Oh. He heard me. What was that about? Oh, no. Up oh, there, everyone. Is that a helicopter? Okay, so it was my bad. Uh, the warrants were closed. It was a issue with my system. My screen's not the greatest. Um, I'll take you out of handcuffs. We just want to quickly check something first about the legality of, of owning handcuffs. I'm not I sure. Think it's just the fact that you are a felon. Just want to make sure it doesn't interfere right. with any of your uh, conditions my, for yeah. parole. Mm -hmm. yeah. right. yeah. Just hang tight. I'll let me go look at the Rolodex here. Alrighty, Teddy. Yeah, he's got roller decks. You're gonna have to excuse that. His system's not the best. Right, so, the handcuffs are purely for, let's mm -hmm. say, adult entertainment. Mhm. Mm Alright, you you can see where we're coming from, though, can't you? The radio, the handcuffs. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, radio, handcuffs. Yeah, makes sense. Do you have any other vehicles, or is it just the Lamborghini? Nah, I have multiple vehicles. Do you have like a Crane Vic or a Dodge Charger or anything like that? Nah, I'm, I'm, I don't. I'm probably gonna like go one day to the DMV and go buy one. But every time I try to go buy one, every time I, every time I try to go buy one, for some reason you guys always come before me buy them all, so I can't ever get one. <laughs> yeah, we do I, tend I to buy them in bulk. For now, we're gonna yeah. So I'm about to stay overnight. Cause I and, get a notification uh, from my boy that we're to a later date. Nick, I'm gonna, we right charges. when he texts me saying okay. that they're getting the cars in tomorrow, I'm there gonna sleep over there and wait for the car to come. Okay. All right. But if you turn around, does he have any weapons in the car? I'll, you can uh, search, right? Take these cuffs off you. Yeah. Because he just got arrested, so he's on probation and parole. Oh shit! I did the wrong one. Alrighty, <laughs> sir. So, a uh, quick question for you. I see you just got mm -hmm. arrested, so that means you're you're on probation or parole right now. I am on probation for right now. All right, so you got conditions. Do you have any firearms in the vehicle, sir? Any drugs or anything like that? 
Mm, no, not really. I shouldn't know. If I uh, bought the vehicle three we, three days ago and I just pulled it out of the garage, I right. me and my buddy so, had it last, so I have no clue if, if right, he left well, anything. Well, you, you are on probation, sir, so that on yeah. its own gives me probable cause to search your vehicle, okay? Mm. So what I need you to do at this time is go ahead and step in front of your vehicle. Mm. All right, just, just keep your hands there in the bumper where I can see it, and uh, we're going to make this... Alrighty. Uh, yeah. If you want to pop the trunk, Ernest, I'll have a look in the uh, the, the trunk, the frunk. Yeah, no. I mean, I think my buddy is on right now. If you want me to call him about the gun, if there is one. I don't. Last time he told me, he said whatever's left in the car, cause he uh, gave me the car, test drived it. I have no clue what's in it. Well, unfortunately, if we do find something... Cuff him right now. Cuff him. What's in there? Yeah, hey, unfortunately, please. I have to go to jail because oh, it's on me. Hell. What's in there? An AP pistol. All right, Mr. Farrell. Now here's the deal, sir. At this time, you are being placed under arrest for possession of an illegal firearm. You have an automatic pistol in the trunk of that vehicle at this time. Can I just call my buddy and tell him to come... No, so you unfor have unfortunately, sir, you are the one in possession. Uh, as a driver of a vehicle, it's your responsibility to make sure it's roadworthy and contain doesn't contain anything illegal. Well, I didn't know what's in it. He literally just gave it to me and I put it in my garage. And I just the first day I literally pulled it out. You still have to check it, unfortunately. It's your responsibility. If there was a dead body in the car, then that would also be your responsibility. God, That's no, just how that works. Alright, I guess I know the drill, yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, come sit in this charger. Right. I'm gonna trust you to not do anything stupid like kick the windows out or anything like that. Nah, I know the drill. I've been arrested too many times, I know the drill, what to do. <laughs> I'm glad, Kel uh, Nick, I thought of this. Yeah. <laughs> okay, uh, same thing as before, same well, rights, so I assume you understand Joe. them. Once we get a break, I'll call for Joe. Yeah. I have a question. Can I just build Signal myself out right here? Now in effect. We'll have a look at that once we get back to the station. But at this moment in time, you are under arrest as a felon sure in possession of a firearm. And my vehicle get impounded. It will indeed. You also Motherfucker. have the right to remain silent. Uh, you have the right to an attorney. If you cannot afford, afford an attorney, one will be provided to you by the state. Do you understand the rights? So I've read them to you. Yes, sir. Alright, do you want to sort out a, uh, a tow for this? Yeah, I'll wait for the tow if you want to go ahead and bring him in. Yeah, I'll take him to the station. I might take it for a spin. Yeah, one well, searching still. Don't hey, whoa, uh uh. Did I just hear you're going to take it for a spin? Hey, if you take. Wait. Wait, if you take it for the. Hey, be quiet you, back there. Wait. If you take for a spin, make sure you put it in sports so you get the full ride. <laughs> there it is. I hope he takes it for a spin. If he puts that bitch in sport, boom, that dude's go zooming. Isn't that one above sports mode usually? I know the route to the Munchiel, so. That's not a good thing, you realize that, right? Yeah, I know, it's not a good thing. I've been here too many times. As have I. I know the whole, I know the ups and downs of this place. Again, that's not necessarily a good thing. Uh, yeah. Pop, oh pop shit! I got, one. I got a new safe this time. My fat ass can't get through. Yeah, that's uh, right. Uh, I'm just gonna quickly fill out some paperwork over here. Two five nine dispatch. Alrighty. Two five nine. It's ten thousand pound fine or dollar fine. Yeah. Or, or five to ten years. So. Uh, five years would be five minutes, so let's do, uh, 60 times three, so three minutes is what, uh, 120 and 180, 180. yeah, 180 seconds, Does he no not bail because he's a felon. Did he what? No, don't worry. Okay, so I was just having a look, uh, you're gonna be charged for being in possession of a weapon as a felon. Uh, unfortunately, because this is your second offence in a short period, we can't offer you bail. Uh, it's going to be five to ten years in jail. Um, at, probably at Bolingbroke Penitentiary. Is that okay? 
Is that okay? Uh, well, since I got my phone call, I kind of called my bail bonds guy, and he should be here at any time. I call him. Okay, uh, I'll quickly uncuff you. Uh, if you want to do that as I'm arranging your transport, that's fine. <laughs> Alright. Uncuff. Oh, fucking hell, it does that stupid animation. It's because you're doing the wrong one, you gotta do the other one. Sorry, I keep doing the wrong animation. There's two of them. <laughs> Not very good at this, in case you didn't notice. Just uh, pop back in yourself, me. Uh, can you walk? Alright, can you, you walk now? Just recuff him with the hard cuff. Yeah, and that's what I did. That. Jail. Sure. Jail closest person. Enter time in minutes. So three. Hey, my buddy says he, my bail bond guy, he says he wants to see you upstairs. Right, okay. So, yeah. Can you walk? He says he wants. I just want to check because I uh, messed up a little bit with the menu. Yeah, he told me that he want he wanted to go talk to you, so I said, "All right." Okay, I'll, I'll go up and up. meet him now. But in the meantime, your transport's here. Jail, right. close person three, enter. Uh, how's he just walking through the gates and stuff? That door was locked. Did you jail him? No, I tried to. It said no nearby players. And he's just walking off. He's right there. Yeah, I know. F6. Citizen interaction. Jail so menu. I don't know if you want to talk to him before I leave or what's going on. I mean, are you eligible for a bond or... I don't know. He says I ain't... Even though I haven't got arrested yet today or bailed or any of that shit you said on the phone. I mean, as long as you weren't arrested already today with a felony charge, you should yeah, be able to one. get bonded out. You just can't bond out one, multiple one. times in one day. Go ahead, yeah, me. Last time I got bit, I wanted. bonded out was actually from you, and I don't know how long that is. I don't know how I ended up in this situation. About a month ago. Sorry, yeah, so a month ago. who are you? Your bail bonds, right? Yeah, he's my he's yes. my bail bond guy. Right. I've been told by my supervisor that unfortunately he's not eligible for bail today. Isn't that your supervisor right there? It is indeed. If you want to have a word with him, that's fine. Uh, in the meantime, sir, I'm going to get you transported. Jail closest person. Three minutes. Enter. Jail reason. Possession. What? One second. Sorry, sir. I fell in. Right, he's been transported. <laughs> sir, what were you saying, sir? I can't hear you. Your damn radio was loud. Yeah, no, no problem. What was he being arrested for? Just so uh, I can put it onto my paperwork and such. Yeah, he was a uh, felon in possession of a firearm. And uh, the the judge was not, we were not able to contact the judge at this time, so he's Next being held until his arraignment in the morning. Okay. So, possession of a weapon a by a felon? That's a correct, and it was also an illegal firearm, it's an automatic pistol. So that, that makes that up the charge even more. The street yeah, and that type of charge I wouldn't be able to bond out because that is federal. Yeah, so... Yeah, okay. He was Can not eligible for bond, Baltimore? unfortunately. Okay, well, thank you, sir, for you all the time. Now, Randy, you have yourself a great day, sir. May I have your name? Yes, James. Hey right, James, you get a last name? 10 4 traffic I'm dead. 540 Vinewood. We You're in there. debt? <laughs> no. <laughs> it's French. Odd debt. Oh, debt. <laughs>